Okay, uh, we're going to demonstrate how to uh, use this diagnostic program called ARO, which is this icon right here on the uh, upper left. Check PC for errors. I always right click on that and run it as an administrator because if you don't if you don't do that, if you don't do that it um it doesn't do as complete a job. Advanced repair and optimization ARO. So here's the screen you get when it first opens up. I use these two tabs here, clean up you can see my cursor clean up and then next to that is optimize I don't use that very often once in a while uh, you can also back up your computer I guess I've never used that but it looks like it'll do that if you wanted to do it mostly I like to clean it up and optimize it to keep the computer running quickly fast you know because computers as they age have a tendency to get bogged down with all kinds of useless crap that gets on the uh, hard drive uh, and it has a tendency to slow it down so if you use this program regularly I, I use this cleanup at least once a week uh, you'll notice that there's a lot of crap that it cleans out you can and you can really you, and when you see all that you'll realize how much it must accumulate over the course of a year no wonder the computer slows down so start scanning right now. I'm going to start scanning by pushing this button. And it's going to take a few minutes. So I'll probably pause the recording while it's working. Uh, you can see these, um, if you can see my cursor here, you can see these things down here. This is what it's actively uh, working on right now. And it'll work right down this list every time it gets done you'll see a little green check mark there and then it'll move to the next one so I'm going to pause it again now it's uh, been scanning for a few minutes uh, see all these red asterisks here on the left recent documents 122 uh, that's the size in kilobytes okay that's the number of files and they're all unnecessary things that the computer stores for some reason uh, sometimes I think it's so it can access it again a little quick more quickly if it stores it a certain way but I, I'm not sure about that uh, temporary files not needed they they can all go okay it wants me to close Google Chrome in order to complete the scan. Okay, let's do that. Hit OK. Now it should finish up. Now these Internet Explorer, temporary files, cookies, history, all these 416 files. I don't know how that accumulated. I don't even use Internet Explorer. But anyway, these temporary files down here on the left you also have uh, temporary internet files it's all stuff that the computer stores that you don't really need and over the course of time you know a couple of months goes by they could number in the thousands and it all tends to bog down your computer after a while so we're getting close to the end here uh, and there it is it found 64 errors and I just did this a couple days ago now you can scroll down here and you can see what it is probably just what we were looking at before start menu for errors it'll tell you the details I'm not really too concerned about those myself they don't mean anything to me anyway um, recent documents 43 files it's all stuff that this program deems as unnecessary that tends to bog down your hard drive with all a bunch of unnecessary stuff that it holds in its memory windows logs temporary internet files 416 that's over the course of a couple of days but I'm on the computer quite a bit you know if you did this if you're not on a computer a, a whole lot you know you could if you did this once a week you might find uh, you'll find something but uh, you know you might not find as much as I'm finding 
but whatever you find it's a good thing to get rid of it chrome cache so anyway to fix it you just hit this green button and they're all gonna go away So I'm going to I'm going to pause this video until it gets done. Okay, the program has completed its job. Cleaning is completed. Uh, this here is just a little sales thing. They want to sell you something. They want to sell me a firewall program. I don't really want it. I don't want it not because it's not good to have, because it slows down everything. If you regularly clean out all the junk, the other program I use is over here on the left, if you can see my cursor right here. Super Anti-Spyware, that's one of several you could choose to use, it's free. And um, it cleans out all the, uh, what they call malware, things that get on your computer. A firewall would block all that stuff, but it slows the computer down. I'd rather just run this program every once in a while and get rid of it. So, okay, we fixed the errors. Next, you can optimize if you like. I'm not going to do it now because I did it only a couple days ago. Yep, so, uh, right there you can see it's Saturday, December 21st. It was the last time I did it. And, you know, you only need to do that once a month or so. And besides that, when you do do it, you need to, it'll, it'll uh, reboot your computer, and I don't really want to do that right now, so... I'm going to close this out, and that's the end of uh, what I use ARO for. It'll do other things. As I said, it'll, it'll back up your registry. It's good to do. Uh, and settings, I don't know. I'm not too knowledgeable about what all that stuff is, but I, I use the, um, the default settings, and I, my computer is uh, more than a year and a half. Well, let's see. It's more than two and a half years old and uh, it's still running fast I haven't had any problems with it because I keep I keep it cleaned out like this on a regular basis so there you have it